Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. And in today's episode, let's put on a trade. I have some cash in my account. Markets look good. But before we do so, if you want to join me and chat or learn how to level up your knowledge, join this Investing 102 group, Facebook group, Investing 102. So in the last few days, the market were down, and I think there's some great value in the market. So I was just looking at some of these things that I've been following. So here's like some five day charts. I like to look at charts just a little bit. So this looks great because it means it's a big hit. It's recovering. Let me look at the one month chart. So I'm, I'm looking for something that I want to buy and I have no idea what I want to do. So let's just take a look around and then we'll put on a trade. And here's my E-Trade account. As always, I show my portfolio and I actually did have edit toss a long time ago at $24. And I had a cover call that forced it away from me. So at this point, I was thinking about buying one share. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Not one share. I'm sorry. I'm going to buy 100 shares. So I do have some cash in my account. So I had a choice here. I was thinking, do I keep the cash and just trade a lot of options? Or do I want to buy something so I can do cover calls and still do options? And at this point, I'll, I want to buy the 100 shares is what I was thinking. So here's one way to do it. You don't need to do a buy right. You could if you want, but I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to buy this for my account. Nothing fancy. Should do a trade, and it should already be there. So here you go. And for highly volatile stocks, again, it, the deltas and the odds of, of making it are really not as accurate because this thing can shoot up $10, $20 or drop $10, $20 or whatever it may be. If you look at the Yahoo chart, you can see that this thing was a hundred dollars, ninety-nine bucks or whatever it is. So you see that it hit ninety-nine ninety-five and now all of a sudden how how you drop seventy-five percent or seventy percent to get back down here. So don't put a lot of don't put a lot of your eggs in the percentages in this one. You just play it based on what you know. And because I owned this one before, I know that I'm not gonna play it weekly. I'd rather play it for a little bit longer. And I think it went across. There you go. So I collected a premium there. So for my next trade, I want to do something a little bit more high risk. I already have a couple of catch the curve puts out there. I'm, I'm going to throw on a put spread, but at a much lower price. So I'm going to go lower than $5, lower than where it is today. And I may just do it for today's Wednesday. So I may play till Friday, collect the 18 cents, see what happens. And then I'll start rolling it or something like that. So that's the way I'm thinking. I already have two other ones that I can manage position. I, I roll these on Monday or Tuesday. So I already did that for this week. I don't need to do anything for next week. So I just want to throw on another trade. So that's basically what I'm doing.